Hey guys, we are here for more kids art drawing. Hopefully you all have been keeping up much better than I have because I haven't been keeping up. Oh yeah, yeah, we have quite a few days to do, drawings to do. I stopped at bug and I need to catch up to plant. So let's get started. Our next word is heart. That should be pretty easy, right? So everybody knows how to draw a simple heart. I'm gonna just do some doodles on it. Just because, why not? And then I'm going to, I might use some of our little embellishments that we made before on it. Let's see, first let's color it. And of course we're gonna use a red or a pink, which means that we have to use a crayon. So it's the only one I have that's kind of the right color, which is fine. So just color in your heart. The harder you press on your crayon, the more color you're going to get on the paper. Just be careful not to break your crayon. But if you do, don't worry about it. Just keep going. You can color with the broken pieces. I'm going to take one of my Crayola markers that's kind of a dark pink. Color the little dots in the dark pink color. And then... Yeah, I do think I want to put some of these on here. I'm just going to grab some Elmer's glue. I don't know why I want to put this on there. I just do, because why not? The prompt is supposed to be a suggestion. For you to be creative. So that's what I'm going to do. So there we go, heart. Okay, next we have fork. We're gonna turn our paper, put our little piece of cardboard back in there so if there's any leaky glue, it doesn't get down on the other paper. Okay, fork. So it's helpful if you go get a fork from the kitchen and look at it and see what shape it is, yeah? So usually your fork has got like a U shape on one end and then you've got the handle. Usually it like flares out at one end, at the end where you hold it and it's skinny up near the U shaped part, right? And then you have the parts that you pick your food up with, right? There's usually four five, something like that. You can do this in pencil. You don't have to do these in pen. We said that before. I'm gonna add some shadows right here. I'm going to take a little bit of a white gel pen, oops, or a white out pen. You don't have to do this. Oh, um, you know what, actually, I'm not going to do this. Normally my background paper is white, so I would take that little piece off um, where I have the mistake. Um, but you know what, I'm gonna go over it with a little bit of yellow pencil, and we're gonna just leave it there. It's not a mistake, right? It's an artistic opportunity. So on that side of the mistake and on all the other same sides, I'm gonna put some yellow pencil, like a highlight, like that's where the sun is hitting the fork, yeah? 
Then I'm gonna take some purple crayon to some of those shadow places that we drew on the opposite side. Right, and there we have our fork. Okay, what's next? Stick. Okay, put this over here. Stick, stick. All right, stick is easy. So, you know, go into your backyard and go find a stick and you can use that as reference, but stick is easy. So nothing in nature is straight lines or even very rarely so stick is easy. So have a loose hold of your pencil or pen and you can make like an ovally shape at one end and then start drawing a messy line, messy uneven line all the way to the other end and then just do a curved line. And then they'll go back down. They don't have to be the same. They don't have to match until you connect it down here. Yeah. Then I'm going to add some more sketchy lines, maybe some shadows. Maybe I'm gonna take this little bump out and I'm gonna extend it and make it into like a little branch. Use some of these places where my line got really messy to add shadow. Add a little oval there like a knot. I'm barely touching my pen to the paper. Now I'm gonna take my pen and better grip on the pen and I'm going to touch down and push into the paper a little bit harder. I'm going to draw some harder lines and go over those parts of my stick shape that I like. If you hear voices in the background, everybody's working from home right now and they're all downstairs, I think, getting lunch or something. So anyway, so we're gonna just go over these lines like that and we have a stick. Then we're gonna take some brown. Ooh, we have a brown pencil, perfect, brown and gray. Okay, so we're gonna put some brown in here. Just color the, most of it, color it brown. Right? And, and you'll notice they use the side of the pencil because I think I get a nicer, flatter, more even coverage of pencil on the paper. Okay, then we're gonna take our gray and we're gonna go over those places where we add those extra sketchy marks, the shadows. I'm gonna just make them a little darker with the gray. And there we have our stick shape. How easy was that? All right, what's the next one? House. House. All right, let's draw a house. Okay. So for a house, simple house, let's put house down here. You want a simple rectangle or a box. Again, I like loose, mess, loose, messy, sketchy lines, so I'm gonna go over it a couple times. Then you wanna put a triangle on the top. That's your basic house shape. So the thing I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add a door. I'm gonna make it a rounded door. You can make it whatever kind of door you want. Put a little doorknob. I'm gonna add some windows. Maybe I'll add a little extra sort of rectangly shape up here for a chimney. And then we'll do some swirlies for smoke coming out of the chimney, yeah? Then we'll take, and I think I want my front door to be turquoise, so let's use the turquoise crayon. And let's make the chimney turquoise, because why not? We will make the roof gray. If 
Again, you'll notice I'm coloring with the side of the pencil. It's a little faster and a little smoother. Okay, that's pretty cute. What color do I want for the body of the house though? Hmm, I'm gonna put some yellow crayon in the windows so it looks like the yellow is brighter and there's light on in the windows. And, hmm, do I wanna do purple? I don't think so. Maybe green? Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Sometimes picking the color is the hardest part. Maybe a darker blue. That might work. It's almost the same color as the door, but not quite. We'll just try it. What's the worst that could happen? Now I started putting the word that I was trying to draw at the bottom of the page back when I first started doing this because sometimes times my drawing didn't come out right and I wasn't exactly sure what I was trying to draw when I would go back and look at it. So that's one of the reasons I do that, just FYI. Um, next is pet. Pet, do you have a cat or a dog? I don't have any pets at the moment. Uh, but my daughter and her fiance are, live with us and they have a dog. But I think we're gonna try to draw a cat. So let's draw a cat. So first we're gonna draw an ovaly shape. Then we're gonna put two ears on top. Then we're gonna do a sort of a body. We'll put some paws down here. And front paws. And then we'll do this. And then cat's eyes. Cat's nose, little upside down triangle, then do this, and then do whiskers. Don't forget the whiskers. Yeah, and then we can take maybe this purple crayon um, marker. <laughs> Let's make the nose and the um, eyes darker with the purple marker. Let's make some of these lines darker. Like that. Now we can take some water. Remember these are Crayola markers, right? So they're a little bit water soluble. Don't do too much because like I have thin paper here. So if I do too much, it's gonna mess up the paper. But I'm gonna get the marker a little bit wet. And I'm gonna just make it smear a little bit on purpose. Like that. Next is apple. Okay, we're gonna put this here because again, this is wet. And now you can see that the back side of our paper is wet, but that's okay. Normally you would wanna wait until that dries to try to draw your apple. So for an apple, you want a shape that's sort of like this. And then I'm gonna do a little circle-y shape up here. I'm gonna draw a stem. And a leaf. And 
I'm going to put some lines for shadows. And then I'm going to go in again and I'm going to firm up the lines I like. Okay, do we have a red? We don't have a red marker, but we have a red crayon. Okay, so we'll use the red crayon and we're going to just add some color to our apple. I don't know what you call this shape except maybe two ovals connected together. Okay, and then we'll take some green and we'll color our leaf and our stem. So, apple. All right, next, uh, last for today is plant. Okay, this one's easy. All right, you ready? So first we're gonna draw an oval -y shape. Then we're gonna draw some straight down sides. Then do a curved line down here, like this, okay? Do some lines on either side. And this is your plant's pot, okay, that it's growing out of. So then we're gonna go straight up And then we're going to put a leaf and put another leaf. Just like that. Put some shadows in here for some dirt. Just like that. Easy as, easy as that. So then we're going to take a green and we're gonna color our leaves. We will take a brown and we'll color our dirt. And we will take a color, you can use any color to color the plant pot. Um, let's do purple. I've kind of been wanting to use purple, so let's do purple. So purple is a shadow color. It's a darker color, right? It's on the cooler side of the color wheel. So you, it's a good color to use for shadows. The purple, blue, green, your lighter, brighter colors that suggest sunlight and warmth are yellow, orange, red. So this is a good color. And I'm gonna leave the, the this center part the paper color because that makes it look like it's more forward, more towards you, and the purple parts are back farther. Anyway, those are our drawings for today. I hope you enjoyed them. I will try to be back in a day or two with some more drawings. In the meantime, don't forget to uh, mind mom and dad and do what you're supposed to. Make sure you've got your chores and schoolwork done before you start on your drawing journal. And if you get a couple of days behind, don't feel bad because we all do that. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to um, like, share, and subscribe if you can. Um, and um, the most important thing is to just have fun with the fact that you're home and you don't have to go anywhere and you can do some drawing and things when um, you're done with your schoolwork and stuff and just have fun with it. All right, that's it for today. Don't forget to go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Bye guys.